Okay. We got it. Okay. Um, let's switch this on. So, um, I yeah, go ahead, Emma. No, no, Emma, keep talking to you for there, because we're kind of <laughs> kind of bit late setting up at the moment. Okay. Uh, and fourth one is no, I'm not going to talk about playlists oh. anymore. How are you, Paul? Huh? Uh, how are you? I'm good, honestly. I've just been working on music. I've been working on dancing. I act, I sing, and I dance, so it's a lot to keep up with. But I've been keeping up with it. I've been, you know, in the recording studio. I'm working on writing my original, which I'm so excited about because it's, like, so different than anything I've done. So, yeah, I'm really excited about and, my original. Wow, and would you like to talk about your original in the... Um show yeah okay um, would you like to tell us what it's called like but don't tell now because we're live if you want okay to. um i think i'm going to insert that in between the songs so people can um know that you're releasing it is it your first one? Oh, it is i, I think you said it and did you write it or no i'm going to ask about this uh during the show so, we have so shall I start it, Emma? Shall I get yeah, do sure. the quick into it? Well, first Let's of all, like you first. Yes, Let's thank you. Like you. Yeah, thank you. I, I suppose I should have done that myself. Uh, I'd like to first, introduce the two of them. They don't hello, know Aoife. <laughs> long, long, long last, Aoife, we meet face to face. <laughs> the the last time I was talking to you, you met a jingle from our radio. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I was told not to play it tonight, though. I was told not oh, to play it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I did some rebranding. So. Yes, yes. So, <laughs> I, so, so I need to make a new one. I need to make a new one. Well, yes, please do. Please do. Nice shorts. Actually, you were very creative. It was. I still use the jingle, actually. Well, obviously, I'll stop now because you've changed a few things. Like you said, you've rebranded. I want to thank everybody for coming. And hello to everybody on YouTube. We will be keeping an eye on you guys. Uh, please feel welcome to talk in chat, live chat. And feel free to come on Zoom if you'd like to. Okay, uh, this is, I'm going to hand it over, of course, we were a little bit late tonight due to some technical issues. I'm going to hand it over to our host with the most, Emma Chilibu. And uh, big, we have our star artist of the year here with us tonight, Tiana. Oh, let spotlight. Let's spotlight Tiana. Thank you so much, Tiana. Hasn't missed the show yet, I don't think. Hi. Yeah. Um, could somebody unmute? Because for some, I'm going to have to shrink this just to let Tiana say hello. All right. I, I actually can't, for some reason, downsize this, whatever the reason. Hello. Uh, thank you so much. That's better. For that's better. Uh, yeah. this wonderful introduction. And uh, Eva, mm. Elizabeth, I wish you good luck because yes. I know you'll be wonderful. Thank you, girlie. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. So. Bye. Bye. I. I can't control mute on that side. Anyway, Emma, over to you. And uh, let's get the party on the road. We're going to, Emma's, uh, where's one thing going to say, uh, Aoife had a big show last night. Thank you so much, Aoife, for doing another one for us tonight, straight away afterwards, in which she was singing for charity, uh, big, to raise money for cancer. So Aoife's going to do five songs, but she's going to do five brilliant songs. And I know this because I think I know all the songs apart from one. So it's going to be very special. And it means we will get to hear more from our host with the most, Miss Emma Chilibu. And having said that, over to you, Emma. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody for being here and also uh, in the live uh, stream on YouTube. Uh, thank you for being there. You can also come here um, in the Zoom meeting. I think Seamus will leave the link to it uh, in the description box so we can find it uh, easier, more easily. Um, Seamus said uh, a few moments ago that um, Eva did a show last night for charity. Uh, she also dances for charity, is that right? Yeah, I do. Um, I act and I sing and I dance, so I go up on stage and that's exactly what I do. Wow, that's very nice. Uh, how long have you been doing it? I think you're very experienced. Oh my gosh, girl, <laughs> do not even get me started. Um, I've been doing this since I was about like six years old, actually. Um, I started out in New York. Um, I love musicals, so I did, you know, I pretty much auditioned for every Broadway musical out there. Um, and then I came out to LA 
And I wanted to focus more on writing my own music and honing in on my voice, my brand, my look, and more about like Eva. Like I wanted to become Eva, you know what I mean? So um, I've been out here working on writing music, dancing, just getting ready for more performances and uh, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. That's very nice. So you've been spending, uh, spending uh, most of your life in theaters, is that right? You said you auditioned for all the uh, Broadway's, uh, Broadway uh, gigs. Yeah, and... one thing that people, oh, probably a lot of people know, but some people don't know is that I am such a huge theater nerd. Like, I am I'm that person. Like, when it comes to Broadway, I'm like, yes, <laughs> that is my thing. I love Broadway so much. The acting, the singing, the dancing, the performing, I just love it. Like, I, I like what I plan when I'm older to go back out to New York and go get back in that scene again. It shows. I've seen one or two. I've seen you live once or twice, believe it, because we, we even followed you when you kind of went quiet for a while, like, you know, yeah, uh, you were doing less singing and more and you're amazing on stage. You set the crowd oh. on fire. I remember that. Um, uh, I won't go. And that's even going back a couple of years. So. Yeah, I know. I've been doing this for a while, man. I just love it. Well, yeah, you seem, you seem like the perfect girl for um, um, theater and um, I don't know acting because um, you're really um, you seem to be very um, outgoing and um, open to new things. You're you also um, I don't know. We have a cool vibe. Yeah, it's it's a vibe. <laughs> But um, how have you decided you wanted to start acting? How did I want to start acting? How did I discover that? Yes. Um, honestly, I, I just loved it. I mean, when I was a kid, I kind of wanted to find my thing. You know, I know everyone that I was around, whether they like to play soccer, or whether they, you know, like to, like every, everyone had like their thing, like their thing that they were dedicated to when I was younger. And I just feel like, I was like, mm, I don't want to play sports. You were never I, finding your thing, right? Yeah, I was like, I need to find my thing. I was like, that's not my thing. That's other people's thing, but I need to find my thing. So um, I started searching for that. And when I was younger, I used to like literally just like make my own videos when I was bored. Like I used to literally just grab my phone and like turn on the camera and just like make like skits up. I'd get like some of my friends or like my family to like be in them. And I think that that's when I figured out that I love to be on camera and I love to, you know, act and direct and, you know, do all that kind of stuff. So then I just kind of pursued it. And now here we are. <laughs> uh, it's very nice. Actually, it said that uh, the real talents and uh, passions uh, show their first, um, I know, our first showman in childhood. And it's nice yeah. that it started back then. Yeah. Um, well, um, you said uh, you wanted to focus more on your singing, on your music. You said you wanted to uh, write your own songs. Well, um, I heard you uh, are you have your first original on the road. What can you tell us about it? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, so I worked in the studio a lot when I was younger and um, now that I'm older, I really wanted to hone in on finding my brand and finding my style. And being in the studio can really help with that, can really help with what do I sound best doing? What do I feel comfortable singing? Like, what's my style? So um, I really just spent a lot of time in the studio and I did three covers. And that was kind of to help me explore my sound again, what I want to be now, what songs I would kind of do. And I kind of came to this conclusion that I want to be kind of that edgy girl. You know, I'm outgoing. I'm kind of edgy. I want to explore that. So my new original is actually going to have real electric guitar, real drums. It's going to be out there. It's not just going to be, wow. you know, electronics in the studio. We're actually getting a band to come in and record electric guitar, drums, everything. It's going to be pretty out there. I'm, I'm really excited for it. Definitely rock and roll for sure. I'm really excited. A big explosion. I'm really looking forward yeah. to it. Can you tell us uh, the title of it if you have it um, yet? I know the title is one of the hardest uh, things to choose uh, yeah. when writing a yeah. song. Um, it's called SMFH. 
um, which is kind of like an acronym. Like some people say SMH, like when they're texting and it basically means like shake my head or like smack my head. So it's kind of like an acronym, but it's a play on words. So it's SMH, which SMFH, which means soulmates from hell. And it's pretty edgy. It's pretty out there and it's going to be crazy. I'm so excited for it. It just, it's so, it's so cool. It's so sick. I'm so excited. Uh, from your description, well, it really seems uh, very interesting, and uh, I'm really excited to hear it as well. I really want to hear how you, uh, all that um, drums, and, well, yeah, the guitar uh, explosion. It really yeah. Really fun. Well, uh, the show tonight is not mainly about talking. Uh, it's more about uh, hearing your evolution in music. So I'm really looking forward to hearing the first song of yours, which is called My Boy. Yes. Uh, when, well, I have one more question, though. Uh, when have you uh, first started um, singing it? This song? Yes, My Boy. Oh man, this actually was, um, it's a song that's by Billie Eilish and I covered it. I started singing this song, honestly, maybe like three years ago. It was a song that I always would put on and sing and just like vibe to or put in my uh, AirPods, my headphones and listen to. So I thought that it would be a really cool song for me to start out uh getting back in the studio with so this was the first song that i actually recorded after a while of not being in the studio wow that's an interesting interesting story i'm really looking forward to hearing it yeah you can start whenever you're ready okay ba -ba -da. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Yes, I love her. <laughs> yeah, I um, I know this one is also recorded on your um, 
YouTube. And I saw that you have one more um, Billie Eilish song there. I can tell you're a big fan of it, of her. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Is it, uh, it's um, I Don't Want to Be Here Anymore. And it's also a nice one. I used to listen to it a lot when it came out. Yeah. Uh, she, she has um, such a unique style that I hope to hear uh, in your uh, original, in your first original, and that uh, big explosion of um, rock <laughs> and everything. Um, well, I want to ask you now, who are your big inspirations uh, aside from uh, Billie Eilish? Oh, man. Actually, my original. So when I was growing up, I listened to a lot of um, like Avril Lavigne, like Paramore oh, type of the thing. classic ones. Well, it's oh, not classic classic. music. Exactly. Classic. You already know. You already know. So I listened to that growing up. Um, and honestly, um, I feel like that alternative rock kind of punk kind of edgy yeah. pop type of sound is coming back. Like, look at Olivia yeah, Rodgers. Really like, look at, I mean, she kind of almost makes the same kind of, you know, edgy kind of alternative pop music. So I thought for my original, um, I would, I'm inspired by, you know, Avril Lavigne, Paramore, uh, and that's kind of like the sound you're kind of going to get in my original, but just Eva. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's uh, such nice inspiration. Well, I yeah. totally agree with you. I think um, music it's just like fashion. It comes back uh, and then um, it's out of fashion again. Then it comes back again. Yeah. Uh, and I really think um, those um, this genre is coming back again. Uh, yeah. This year, uh, people are starting to starting to listen to it more and more, and it's such a nice one. Well, uh, one song that I know, well, another artist that I know um, that uh, has such a rock vibes, gives off, uh, gives off <laughs> rock vibes, uh, and is um, actually uh, called um, King of uh, Rock, uh, is um, Michael Jackson, and I know you have yeah. one from, here, from him tonight, uh, called Bad. I'd really yeah. love to listen to it. Okay, for sure. Let me see. I got you, girl. <laughs> All right. So this is another song. This was my second song that I recorded, my second cover. And uh, yeah, let's let's do it. Your word is mine, I'm gonna tell you right. Just know your face in broad daylight. I'm telling you on how I feel. But I hold your mind, don't shoot me to kill. I'm giving you on count of three. To show you stuff, or well, let it be. I'm telling you just to wash your mouth. I know you can what you're about. The sweet sky's limit, and to me, that's really true. But my friend, you have seen nothing, so just wait till I get through because I'm bad. You know I'm dead, I'm dead, you know it You know I'm dead, I'm dead I'm really, really bad And the whole world's got to answer right now Just to tell you once again The word is wrong, you're doing wrong Gotta like you a for too long, your lying eyes can tell you why. So listen, oh, don't make a fight. Your talk is cheap, you're not a man. You're throwing stones to hide your hand. 
the city size limit And to me that's really true A friend you have for nothing But there's way to like it too Because I'm bad, I'm bad Come on You know I'm bad, I'm bad You know it Even though I'm bad That was a nice one. I know Seamus loves uh, rock, and I think he particularly. Oh yeah, Michael, uh, Michael, loves Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Yeah! Michael Jackson singing punk. I don't care what Michael Jackson sang. Whatever song he done, he done a brilliant job in it. Yeah. But but uh, that was class. If uh, I remember when you first brought that out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's uh, kind of sent me the video and asked me was it okay and I went that's brilliant no it's, I'm not happy with it Seamus no no release it no no I'm not happy with it Seamus just wanted to see what you think yeah it's very very good yeah it was and uh you added um special touch to it your own I saw you did that also with the Billy Eilish song and it's really nice uh I think you're still um um uh, going towards the Billy Eilish vibes uh, even with this um, Michael Jackson song. Yeah. And it's a pretty nice combination. I really like it. Yes, thank you. Thank you. But like Eva, Eva is an amazing artist because there's actually about three versions. Listen to Eva. There's about three versions of that. I actually heard the original version. Uh, you've done it actually in black and white, I think. Yeah, Do you remember I think. That? Yeah. That's... I think it's probably still up. But um, yeah, I've done three. And you, you just, you make it sound very smoky. That's what I like about smoky and dark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually love my, not to cut you off, but I actually love Michael Jackson. And I literally, fun fact, when I was uh, like a baby, my parents, I would cry in the car, like, you know, as babies do, you know. And so they tried doing everything that they could to stop me crying, to stop me from crying when I when they would put me in the car and in the car seat. And then uh, they tried putting on Michael Jackson music in the car and his music videos they would show they would you know show them to me and every single time that I would get upset if they put on Michael Jackson music or showed me his music videos I literally would stop crying when I was a kid and so wow. I grew up listening to him and I was like I have to do a cover of his song like you know what I mean wow when did you first uh sing it sing this it. song Oh man, I mean, uh, well, I mean, girl, I grew up listening to this song. <laughs> I grew up listening to this song. Um, I mean, man, I sang it all the time when I was younger, like when I was, you know, four, five, six years old. But uh, yeah, so that was definitely an inspiration for me to record. I was like, you know, I love Michael. I've loved him since I was literally a baby. So, you know, got to keep his legacy going. Yeah, that's very nice. Well, Michael Jackson is a um, really nice artist to listen to. Uh, I think he has, um, I, well, I believe this, and I believe uh, a lot of other people believe this as well. Uh, he should be the main inspiration of uh, today's artists. But, well, yeah. genres affair a lot. Yeah. Um, before we move on to the next one, I want to tell everybody um, here and to the ones on the live stream, you can leave uh, comments uh, there in the live chat uh, with questions, uh, personal opinions, uh, and everything you want to know about Eva. And I'm going to ask her or tell her at the end of this um, show. Uh, but if you're here, you can also tell what you want to tell her yourself all right um next one is um out of my zone <laughs> no <laughs> it's out, it's out it's of your what zone. <laughs> i mean out of my zone works but no it's out here on my own <laughs> yeah. all right i gotta so. move it 
wrong. I got uh, the playlist a few so, minutes ago. I don't. I forgot to tell you, Aoife. Um, you do know Emma, uh, This is actually Emma's second language. Emma speaks Romanian. That's her national oh language. Oh my god! Yeah, she's from Romania. Cool. She's from Romania. You're doing yeah. great. You're doing yeah, she's great. Yeah, she's she's amazing. But that is actually funny. Like you know. Um, so yeah. It's cool. Well, I believe there's. There must be a song called "Out of My Zone," and I'm going to find. Well, um, there. Don't say. Don't say it out on air. We could, could create one for Tiana called that "Out of My Zone." <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. That's a good idea. All right, yeah. let's hear it. Okay, so this is actually going back to my Broadway roots. Um, I thought that I should show you guys my Broadway side as well. So, let's do it. Here we go. Sometimes I wonder where I've been, who I am, do I fit in, make believe in, it's hard alone, out here on my own. For that rising star to guide me far and shine me home and out on my own. When I'm down and feeling blue, and I close my eyes so I can be. Until the morning sun appears, make light of all my fears. I dry the tears that I've never shown. Now on my Amazing. Well, that was a very nice one. Yeah, I love I love the way you have the phone beside you. Keep close to that phone when you're singing and try and hold still and keeps the sound perfect. But that was amazing. You're actually that good at singing, Eva. I'd I'd listen to you without the music. Oh, thank yeah. You. yeah. Yeah. Well, I that's would. definitely in your zone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like it, Emma. I like it. Um, and by the way, I looked it up. There's actually a song called "Out of My Zone," so. It could have been it. It could have been it. There you go. Yeah. It's by um, Bravo the Bag Chaser, if anybody wants to search it up. I'm not going to screen share it. It's not <laughs> Oh my God, you're so adorable. I love you, Emma. <laughs> Thank you. Um, well, well, I was.
was thinking that maybe we should get all the songs um, going till the end. And um, after you finish um, singing them, we could um, talk with um, uh, the people that came here and those in the live um, stream. Um, what do you think? Yeah, for sure. I think and, I, I, I don't mind either. Like, don't mind me, you know. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, but I was just I was just thinking because I, I love that. This is the first time I've had a chat with you because you're a hard girl to get. You're a hard girl to get, huh? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I love yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So it'd be, ni <laughs> it'd be nice to catch up and I'm sure um, there's a lot of Edmund and a lot of people. I noticed Thomas is here. I want to give Thomas a big, big shout out. A uh, big supporter of Tiana and all, all artists, but a big, big supporter. Of it. Thank you, Thomas, for coming and supporting Eva, Eva Rodriguez. Well, thank you for <laughs> for coming here because um there are people that usually come here and it's nice to know that um we have a community that um is so loyal and yeah. trustworthy oh another person joined tom Hoffa. all right uh this is a message to the people in the live stream you can also come here it's better here but you can also that it was that thomas Hafler that just came on yes well, I, I thought he was on and I'm after thanking you. Well, Thomas, you've just been thanked for coming and supporting Eva. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He was on. I had to come back in again. Uh, maybe he has problems with the connection. Who knows? All right. Um, uh, that was a slower one. And I liked it. I think it really suits you. Uh, you should try more of those, but don't forget about your me style rocks yes. and alternative yes nice. uh and i'm not going to say the name of the next one because maybe i get it wrong so <laughs> i'm going to let you do that you wouldn't get it wrong Eva. that was a one off uh, yeah or, uh, um okay so just to calm things down before my next song my next song is very upbeat and pop oh. and it's not even been released yet the song after this one so i'm gonna keep that for the end but just to you know have one more chill song before we get into that upbeat well, i know the okay. last one and i'm going to say the name of it because okay, i yeah. love it it was one of my favorites uh but let's <laughs> hear the next one Okay, okay, so this one, uh, it's called Riot, um, and yeah, so just a chill, just a chill song, chill things out. You said you want love, babe. And you said you could give it to me, just how I, yeah, I need. You think of roses and daisies, I think of passionate fire like Hades. You say all the time, peace and quiet, but for my love I need a riot, a riot, yeah. I hope you capture my drift. I need a riot. I don't want no sinking ship, but I need better than the typical honey. I'm falling slow. Why are we even making love? Are you tired of this? Said that you'll be working late for the third time this week. But your love goes straight, your love's too routine, too routine, your love's too routine, our love's too routine, too routine. Ah, I love that song. <laughs> well, it's a very nice one. Well, I have to recognize I haven't heard it before. It's a nice thing that you uh, brought it to my knowledge. Yes. I think she was wanting to say something because he unmuted. Oh, yeah, I unmuted because the song was finished. <laughs> I oh. to, but uh, yeah, uh, I do want to say something. Not now, though, later. I'm going to save it all for later because if I start talking about Eva practically grew up with my radio. 
you know yeah. I think actually Aoife you were with us when we began we started yeah doing one and yeah yeah I do believe so yeah so we've we've a lot of catching up to do back to you Emma yeah she has a lot of uh, jingles on the radio station I think new ones are coming she yeah. said that it's not what I believe she said that yeah. new ones are coming <laughs> Um, and I'm really excited to hear them. You can uh, hear her current jingles um, at the end of each month. Yeah, um, you can actually make one right here. You know, you can say, hi, I'm Eva Rodriguez. You can listen oh, to my video. Think about it? Oh, yeah, yeah. OK, wait, 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 wait. Ready? You guys are all going to witness me make the new jingle. OK, ready? Okay. OK, right. Let's go. OK, here we go. OK. Hi, I'm Eva Rodriguez, and you're listening to Mob Radio. There you go. There's a professional. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. A, a, a one take, a one take, girl. Yeah. There's a, a true, take. there's a true professional. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'll um, use that. I'll cut that out and use it. <laughs> the simple things are always the best ones. I think this yeah. is something Coco Chanel said once, but not in this form. I think she, no, simple things are elegant, or I'm not really sure, but this is Same how it sound like it, <laughs> yeah. it was really nice it was really what um the radio needed all right yeah uh let's move on to the last one which i am going to present it's when i was your man by bruno mars it's one of my favorites and i'm really looking forward to hearing your version i think somebody had it uh in one of the shows before um, i can't really remember who Alex um, Castellia, wasn't it yes yeah. um i'm not really sure i think so uh but i want to hear your version as well so yeah um so with this song i once again it was one of the covers that i did and i feel like for bad and this song, uh, I really wanted to, you know, as an artist, I like to challenge myself, you know? So yeah. I was like, I would like to take these songs and just kind of flip them upside down. So you you know, Bad by Michael Jackson is down, 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 da, da, but da. it's it's fast. It's you know, it's it's you know, it's cutthroat and fast. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, you know, let's smooth it out, make it slower, make it, you know, more Billie Eilish vibe. Let's let's take it that way. And I did. So with this song, it's normally sang on a piano, originally, and it's a really soft ballad song. And so I was like, what if this song was totally upbeat, totally a pop song? So that's what I transformed the song into. So wow, well, yes, and I, and I turned it into, and I turned it into when you were my man instead of when I was your man. So I kind of switched it up a little bit. So. Oh, this seems interesting. Such a nice yeah. new cover. Uh, that we are going to listen here um, in premiere for the first time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for the first time, uh, we have uh, exclusive, inexclusive. I think this is how we said. All right, let's hear it. <laughs> okay, here we go. But it feels just a little bit bigger now Our song on the radio and it don't sound the same <laughs> But our friends talk about you all the best to tear me down My heart breaks a little when I hear your name It all just sounds like you Yeah. 
Um, I'm not really sure about three or maybe even more years old and it's really nice to know that people are still singing it uh, still listening to it and uh, are creating uh, new versions of it and this one was very nice I haven't I was not expecting it at all so, how did you th oh what did you want to say so was that the last song yes it was what was that was it I thought it was yes. an original. Oh, okay. Well, well done. I tell you one thing: you wouldn't think you were after doing a full show last night. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But you now, know, like I said, with musicals and stuff, I learned when I was younger that you have to always be on your feet, and you have to always, you know, I have a humidifier that I actually have for my voice because I sing so much, and there's certain teas that you should drink. So I, I take all precautions to keep my voice safe and keep it ready to sing at any moment <laughs> so. yeah it was it was amazing you were amazing but you always have been amazing since you were knee high to a grasshopper and the only yeah. place the only place you were really happy was you know even if you had to be lifted up onto that stage that's where you always came to life you know you just yeah. you took over like you used to actually tell the band what to do <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah it was those those were you, you, you've got a great future no doubt about that great future Thanks. And music, music, uh, entertainment. Yeah. God, I wish I was around there. You still living in LA, yeah? I do. Yeah. And is it the place to be still for entertainment? Honestly, I mean, yeah. I mean, right now, I mean, everything is so social media based and and you know so brand based and everything. So coming out here is totally different scene than New York for sure. Because out here, you know, everyone's worrying about what they're posting, what outfits they're wearing, their sound of their music, recording music. Like, that's what L.A. is all about pretty much right now. So, yeah. Good place for you. The ultimate entertainer. Yeah. Okay. You. Um, <laughs> sure. What do you want to say? I'm going to shut up now and let you speak, Emma. No, I think I'll want to say something. Did you? No. Oh, all right. Uh, since we were talking about future, I think Seamus was doing that. Uh, what are your future plans? Like, how are you going to expand, uh, Eva? Oh, um, definitely. I'm on all platforms of social media. Gotta get that growing. I'm working on that. So you can follow me at Eva underscore Rodriguez on all platforms. Um, and uh, I'm working on writing my original. Uh, I just was in the recording studio actually doing vocals for it, so it should be out at any moment. Um, so that is going to be cool. Um, so keep an eye out on her YouTube channel, which yeah. is also Eva Rodriguez. And all my Instagram, like I said, Eva underscore Rodriguez, E V A H underscore Rodriguez. Um, and yeah, so gonna do a music video for that. Uh, I'm actually gonna work with a stylist as well to get the right outfits and the right vibe and everything for them so uh yeah just gonna keep on pushing forward with that i think persevering is the key to success and if you are willing to do that and um uh be consistent and keep posting more and more or just producing more and more music it's going to be uh just the way you want it to be okay um, i'm going to throw in a few comments there patty dylan says patty dylan hey patty patty's a big big supporter of uh, amazing artists can you hear me 
Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> so, Pally Dillon, very impressive. Love the cheers, David Myers. Mob radio is absolutely brilliant. Well, we're not on mob radio, but okay. Uh, Emma <laughs> and Eva is all absolutely brilliant from David. Thank you so much, David. Maria KL, nice. Maria KL, you are such a great performer. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> we also have loads and loads of messages from, um, if I go back, we have Helen Stewart. We have. Oh, we've loads of people watching. Rex Harris, brilliant. Hi, Eva. He says hi. Hello, Eva. Hi. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I can't go back any further, but loads uh, <laughs> watching on YouTube, watching now. So thank you so much. Um, all the links will be put when this is edited. Well, it won't be actually edited. It'll be just like stopped. Actually, I'm going to stop recording now here. So because there's no need to be recording too much. Yeah, and I think if you have any question questions you can leave them in the chat or raise your hand uh, although I don't think um, somebody has uh, any questions left I think I actually asked them all throughout the show uh, big shout out to Genova big um, I, I believe you've got big well you're doing a lot in, is it New York Genova you're based I forget because Rodriguez uh, used to be from from New York yeah yeah. Okay, you're unmuted. Is it is it New York? I I might be wrong. Genova, is it from New York? You're based. Can you hear me? Can you yeah, hear we me? can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Brooklyn, baby, New York, and uh, okay. like a theatrical thing, you know. Uh, did a lot of the, you know, I didn't perform on Broadway, but catch a lot of Broadway shows. So I hear a lot of things in your voice. So you know, great sound, and, and I like how you can just kind of flip the songs, you know, to, or I, I call them, invert them to something yes. else. So very, very good. Nice job with that, you know. Thank you. I appreciate that. From one New York to another. <laughs> <laughs> you know, great stuff. I like yourself. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Janva. Thank you so much for coming. Okay. Well, that's amazing. So, um... yeah, well, I think if anybody has any questions left, I can't see all the screens because I, I can't mute then. There's there's not many I can. left. I can. So if you have any questions, just raise your right. hand. Okay. Well, I, I, I actually totally enjoyed it, Eva. It was amazing. You are as bright, as bubbly, but more importantly, as warm as you always were. It's one thing I always loved about you. You had a warm heart. You were always, you know. And yeah, in, and it in, was in, really nice talking to you. Oh. Yeah. Do you still do that thing on stage where you encourage people to clap and get in? And, oh, yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah. yeah like uh, that's one thing I loved about Aoife. She wouldn't she'd get up there and she, instead of worrying about the performance, she wouldn't give a damn. She'd just start singing, bouncing yeah. all over the stage and encouraging people to join in. And that's what well, actually, that's, yeah. That's what a real entertainer does. Yeah, yeah. It's you are you are you are you are always were amazing, and it's it's so nice to have seen you. I remember when you moved to LA actually, yeah. and um, you kind of were like we were all wondering where you was making the right decision, and you wanted to go to LA. Well, the weather's better. Oh yeah, no snow. Well, that's good. <laughs> <Not> yeah. <bad>. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it's, it's a, very hot there. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. Yesterday it was like a hundred degrees, so you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Right with you, Eva. You said it so randomly. Here. You're welcome, Fred. You're more than welcome. Uh, thank you, Fred and Frank, for coming again. Um, nice to see you. And thank you for watching and supporting the show. And by the way, folks, all the links to Eva Rodriguez. Got it right twice in there a row. Uh, I'll warn me before it started. He says, now, don't. Don't say the old name. Don't say <laughs> the old name. Don't. She doesn't like it. They want that out. So please, Seamus, yep. don't say the old name. And I'm yeah. and you know what, Eva? Yeah, you know what? <laughs> do you know, what? Do you know, yeah. do you know what, Eva? Do you know what, Eva? It's on the tip of my tongue. Because okay. I've, I've been saying it for ten years. Like, come on, give me a break. Yeah, no, I, yeah, no, I get you. I get you. <laughs> yeah. You're good. You're good. Uh, <laughs> uh, that, that younger generation, they just can't help it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's it's so so good to have you back. Thank you so much for doing the show. Of course, any you know. and you are amazing. I love you. Yes, yeah. Thank yeah. you. I love you guys. Okay, so we'll add it back to you, Emma. It's now actually we've only five minutes left. We're, and you know what? It just goes to prove to you that five songs when done properly is quite normally now. Um, Eva asks, or not Eva, Emma asks for an interview, which I think she's forgetting about, or maybe you've already asked. Have you? Oh no, 
I haven't. Uh, but I was just life. thinking, don't ask too many more questions, or you you won't be able to have an interview. <laughs> you know, who yeah. was it? Who was it? Who was it? You last interviewed Emma. What was that name of the girl, the writer? Um, she's on Facebook. <laughs> No, no, I know she's it's, on Facebook it's, or it's, in uh, Street News, and her name is Hildy Elisa. Uh, yeah, Elisa. yeah, that was the last person. I was, I was um, pretty confused because I used to call her Hildy Lysko because that's the that's uh, that's the film name, name oh, yeah. in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and. No. Yeah, so I, I thought I'd catch you on the on the hop there, but the, but like uh, <laughs> that was actually an amazing interview. I, I I highly recommend people go check that interview out because, like, um, it's amazing that that young kid actually solved a murder crime, or helped solve a murder crime. No, she actually solved it and got the news out first. Wow! Obviously, because she helped solve it. You know, yes, that's the serious all about. Amazing. Well, it's. Well, I want to thank Helen Stewart for uh, getting me through to her. It was a really nice, uh, it was a really big pleasure talking to her. And it's, she's very clever. Uh, and I'd love to um, interview her even more. Yes. And I'd love to interview you as well. What do you think for MLB Radio? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm totally down. Well, not just for Mob Radio, for the whole network. Yeah, you go up and um, Emma's. Uh, site as well and oh yeah you'll, you'll actually go up there first you know that'd be amazing thank you Eva. yeah for sure yeah super cool okay so i'm going to let you wind this down if there's three minutes to go uh once again i'd like to say thank you so so much um does al want to say uh, goodbye to Eva? because uh, al's been i don't mind with spotlight al but is there anybody else am i neglecting anybody or forgetting anybody here the last time i talked to Eva, i think i found her in the hospital Oh, you had, you had appendix problem, remember? Oh my gosh! Wow, that was like three years ago. Oh my gosh! Or, or more. <laughs> wow. I had to tell her not to worry about it. She's going to be alive. She's going to live through this. And here I am, guys. Al was right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you were getting an appendix out of it, but yeah, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I understand, though, because every time you go into hospital, you think, am I going to come out of here, you know? <laughs> and you're only a little child. That's why I don't go to hospitals. So. <laughs> yeah. So a how, big old, how old were you when you had the appendix? Oh, my gosh. I was like 13 and I'm 16 now. But I actually got my appendix out because I'm like a popcorn addict. I love I literally have right next to me two bags of popcorn, <laughs> the popcorn, literally. And so when I was younger, I used to have so much popcorn that the shells ended up actually getting stuck in my appendix. And so oh. I had to get it out because I was eating too much popcorn. But now I can eat as much as I want. So. You could. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Okay, so if you want to eat all the popcorn you can, get your have appendix, your appendix out. out. Yeah, have yeah. your appendix yeah, out. Yeah, I guess you can get it removed. Okay. Oh, my God. All right, I got to let uh, Emma wind up. But tonight I'm going to say once again, Eva, it's been thrilling. It's been a, a brilliant, and it's and actually even without music, you could have sang tonight, you know. Yeah. But thanks, thanks for making the effort. Big shout out to Janva. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, Kurt, always here. Edmonds, and if any of you guys want to ask a question, now is the time. I'm watching. Anybody? No, nobody wants no. to ask Eva. No. My God, and to be all saying to me, oh, she I told a, us everything. I had, a, I had I enough. I, I, I talk so much. Frank, Fred, no. Okay. All right. That's it. So I'm, I'm leaving it to you. God bless you. Um, Thank you, Eva. I hope, I hope yeah. everybody had a nice uh, evening. Um, Love it. Have a nice time uh, during this show. Uh, and we're hoping to see you next week uh, with the next artist, uh, which is... Seamus, unmute yourself. It's a Diddy Liar from India, yes. and I think it's in around the same time, actually. I'm not sure. What time is it, Al? On mute, Al. What it's time on is Saturday, it? not a Sunday. Oh, it's on Saturday. I have it down for Sunday, Al. No, you had it for Saturday. Have I? It's the 20... <laughs> yeah. okay, okay, it's Saturday the 28th of May. Well, that's a bit annoying, because I'm minding my mum she's not too well, which means I'll have to come back up, because the studio's here. It's not in the city. Uh, but anyway. 20 Wait, 28th of May. 
Yeah, or sorry, yes, yeah, 28 of May. I think, I think 28 is on Monday. We have to check. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. Well, we'll worry about that afterwards. Anyway, folks, it's, it's, I thought it was Sunday, two weeks. We're going to see. Right, 28th going of May is a Saturday. All right. 28th of May is Saturday. What time, Al? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're going to say it's between 5 and 6 o'clock. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You won't, Who's interested? Eva, thank you so much. <laughs> and I did not say anything else. Eva yeah. Rodriguez, folks. So a big congratulations. And it's a pleasure I get to actually just meet and talk to you face to face. And it's like yeah. so funny. It's 10 years between you and me. It was seven years between myself and Jaden. I actually think I only spoke to Jaden for the first time two years ago. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> and actually, only for she asked to interview me, I probably wouldn't have got to speak to her the second time. <laughs> Okay, folks, thank you very much. Yeah. And Emma Chilibu, what can I say? An amazing host. Uh, love it. Looking forward to the interview between yourself and Eva. And uh, th thank you, everybody, yeah. for coming. Thank you, Emma. Yeah, I'm yeah. going thank to. You. Yeah, thank you very, very much. Seriously, Emma, you, you really are the show now. You and the uh, guests. So, Eva, thank you a million times over. And say hello to your dad for you, for me, and your mum. I feel like I know your dad, Bill, because he talks to me regularly. I just don't think he understands me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm stopping the live stream now. To, to everybody in YouTube, a big shout out and thank you. And to everybody who's going to watch us in the upcoming weeks, months, years, whatever, I'll never take it down. It's, it's Eva Rodriguez. Hey. I'm not going to take it down. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Check out all the links below because they're going to be to Eva. Um, and you can check her out and see what